Hi everyone, it's Emma here from GoDaddy's The Journey. And I'm Darlene from GoDaddy's How To. And we've been putting together several videos each week to help businesses with ideas on best practices for managing your business during this time of crisis. We're in this together with you and our hope is to give you a little guidance as we navigate through these uncertain times together. And today's topic is all about Google My Business. And if you don't know what that is, let's start here. Yeah, so Google My Business is basically the yellow pages of the internet. If you've ever searched for business on Google, you'll get information on the business, which includes hours of operation, photos, phone numbers, reviews. And if you're in the food industry, you're going to add links to menus or food delivery services. It's really just a one-stop shop for all the essential info on your business and could be the deciding factor for a potential customer. Exactly. I use Google My Business anytime I'm considering visiting a new store. And on a few occasions, I was really disappointed to find that their business hours were not updated. It actually happened a handful of times. And I did not get that espresso that I was hoping to get. And when I arrived, they were closed. And that does not leave a good impression on me as a potential customer. So it's extremely important that you keep your information current and up to date, especially if you have a food menu that changes often. So to get started, you need to have a Google account. It's easy to set that up. Just go on google.com and in the top right corner, it says sign in. If you don't have an account, it'll walk you through the steps to create an account. Now go on Google Maps and search for your business to see if you have a listing already. If it does come up like this business here, you can choose own this business, or sometimes it'll say claim this business. Click on that link and Google will guide you through the verification process. Hey Darlene, as you may know, I have this business that we developed on the journey. It's called Coffee and Kick Clips. Mm -hmm. And I have a Gmail account and a website, but I didn't put it on Google My Business. How do I add this from scratch? It's not a problem. Just go to Google Maps and type in your business address. On the left panel, choose add your business. Add your business name. Choose a category and continue following the prompts until you're finished. You won't be able to verify right away, so you'll need to wait for Google to send a postcard to your business to make sure it's really you. But you can still go into your Google My Business dashboard and set things up while you wait. Now, once you're in your Google My Business page, you have a lot of things you can edit here. Hours, menus, see all the options on the left-hand side here. To edit your store hours, select Info. Select the section you want to edit, like Add Hours. Make your edits and select Apply. You can also enter special hours for holidays and closures. Perfect. That'll come in handy when I change my hours of operation or add something new to my business. So I understand that you can also connect to Google My Business through my website with GoDaddy Websites Plus Marketing. Is that true? Yeah. Let's go to your GoDaddy account page and log into your dashboard. Look at that. GoDaddy is suggesting you make a Google My Business listing. If you don't have this prompt, go up to Marketing and choose Google My Business. Since we created a version already, we could just connect to it here. But since you want to do a listing from scratch, click Create Listing and follow the prompts. Add your address, type in the category, just like the step on Google. Connect to your Gmail account and allow GoDaddy access to your Gmail account. This will allow your website to access the Google My Business account. Once the step's complete, it'll ask you to verify by completing on Google. And once you're on Google, you can ask them to send a verification postcard to your business address. This will take a few days, but once you have the code on the postcard, they'll enter that code in Google My Business to verify. Good to know. Okay, that's it for today. We really hope that these videos will be helpful to you and your business. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to call our GoDaddy guides for assistance. Until next time, stay safe. And stay healthy.